Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading for January 2022. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what you can expect, um, who you might be dealing with. Um, and if we have some time, I'll see if I can lay down the cards for what could be happening next and then we'll dive in on the future energy and the extended. As always, these readings are general. So they will not resonate with every cancer watching 100%. Take what resonates for you. You can also check out your other placements, your rising sign, your moon sign, or any other sign of significance in your birth chart. All of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box. And so let's jump right in for the sign of cancer. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages, guidance do you have for... Whoa. Well, I'm going to put those back because I didn't even ask my question all the way but wow okay so uh this deck wants to talk hang on sorry if i moved the camera spirit <laughs> for the sign of cancer what's coming their way in love in january 2022 what can cancer expect in love okay we have the angel of balance what can cancer expect hostilities okay and rest and rejuvenation. So what I'm getting here is there's some sort of um, issue that you are dealing with when it comes to love. Might be that there's someone around you that is creating problems. This could be drama. This could be jealousy. This could be just not getting along. Um, but I feel like there's a balancing out here that's happening with Angel of Balance and... Uh, rest and rejuvenation almost like there's a healing or some sort of uh, resolution so we'll see what's going on for you what else what else for cancer what's coming their way in love in january 2022 what can cancer expect in love what can cancer expect in love yep I want one more okay so we have budding romance with second chances these two kind of came out together then we have judgment call and restoring balance so I feel like yeah there's definitely something that balance is being restored or things are uh, balancing out and then we have broken silence maybe by talking things out revealing feelings, being vulnerable. Now judgment call is here. So this isn't without like effort. Uh, this is a judgment call, a decision that's based off of logic and reason. So justice energy, especially with these two. Okay, so let's see what is going on here. For cancer, what's going on? For cancer regarding love for January 2022. What can cancer expect, spirit? Regarding love and relationships in January 2022 for the sign of cancer. Let's see. We have the Ace of Wands reverse, Strength reverse, Leo energy, Eight of Coin reverse, and the King of Coin reverse. What the heck's going on? Then there's the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy is a new beginning, something new, a risk, a leap of faith. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Fire sign. Does not have to be. That's just who happened to come out here. Did I say Fire sign? I mean Earth sign. What? Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. There's strength. Okay, so let's get some clarity on what's going on. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign, or Leo. Okay. I normally don't like talking about specific signs because every single tarot card has a sign attached. So I would, I mean, it would be kind of ridiculous to just single out certain signs. But sometimes I do if it's like a king or a queen or a major arcana. Okay, let's see. I want to look at this strength card because it came out. Okay. Um, hmm. 
something's just not right here. Tell me about strength reverse. Why is strength reverse? And my clarifying deck is all upright to make the clarifications easy. So let's see, strength reverse. What can you tell me about strength? The sun. Strong Leo energy here. What can you tell me about strength reverse? Page of Swords, clarity. This is clarity. This is communication, Page of Swords. This is talking things out. Yeah, Eight of Wands. So I think someone possibly maybe lacked courage or lacked strength to say what they needed to say. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that maybe hasn't broken their silence, but needs to, or will be breaking their silence, will be telling you something. What's what's with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands? What's this? What's this Page of Swords and Eight of Wands about? This could be over the internet too. Why is the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that wants to balance things out. There's a Lovers, Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that maybe didn't have the strength or the courage to approach you before cancer, but for some reason they're doing it now. And this is about giving you something that could be giving you information, um, exchanging information with the Six of Pentacles, um, restoring balance. Why the, why the Eight of Coin reverse? Why is the Eight of Coin reverse? The lover. So this is someone that wasn't able to put in effort energy or focus into a partnership this could have been in the past or in the present yeah three of pentacles three of cups so i feel like it could have been there could have been something in the way the devil is is at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy and for some reason things were not working out in this partnership because of something that was restricting another person it could be addictions toxic behavior unhealthy attachments etc etc because something definitely wasn't working here with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone's behavior could have made it almost impossible to collaborate or be on a team, be partners. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Have budding romance here. So maybe this is where things could head because I have second chances and new love. But the Ace of Wands is reversed. Why is the Ace of Wands? I mean, the Fool is here at the bottom of the deck. Uh, why is the Ace of Wands reverse? The Moon, Pisces energy. So something can't start. And I feel it's because things are still hidden. Um, there's possibly an illusion or something probably hasn't been cleared up. The Sun is needed, but right now it's like the Moon. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Death, Scorpio energy, wow, okay. And Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like something, not, not just something needs to be addressed, but I feel like there has to be a change or a transformation. Maybe that's why the Fool is here. There could be a commitment. Some of you could be dealing with a third party. And maybe that third party is a married partner or something like that, or marriage could be... Um, what's in the way here let's see what's this death card about why is death here why is death here page of wands yeah so i feel like something has to end in order for someone to be able to take even the baby steps to begin again to take initiative, to go down a different path. The Page of Wands is ready for something new. They are taking the initiative, taking a risk into a new adventure. That's the whole point of the Page of Wands. So I feel like this is, um, possibly this hasn't happened or is happening behind the scenes with the moon. Queen of Pentacles for me as a reader is usually already in a commitment. Tell me more about the moon. Tell me more about the moon. Eight of Swords. So this could be that somebody was um, stuck or blind. Eyes closed when they should have been open. So I feel like someone could have could be stuck in a situation that was a mistake. So they made a mistake because their eyes weren't open or they made a mistake due to fear 
or they're stuck due to fear. One of those. It doesn't matter. It does. It, the outcome is still the same, that there's nothing moving forward. Ace of Wands reversed. And death is here. So there has to be a change, an ending, a transformation. Otherwise, this page of wands cannot take their first steps. I feel like this could be communication. Someone taking charge or um, overcoming their fear through communicating. Why is the king of coin reverse? Why is the king of coin reverse? Yeah, I feel like this is probably somebody that's in a long-term commitment or was in a long-term commitment or couldn't commit because the king of coin reverse for me as a reader, they can't really commit to anything. Oh yeah, king of pentacles and ten of pentacles. Someone's married. If they're not married, they're they're providing. They are in a in a in a unit. But the king of coins is reversed, which tells me that they're not really doing well in a partnership or they're not able to give in a partnership or they're not able to commit. They're not grounded, they're unstable. Maybe having financial difficulties. Tell me more about this king of coin reverse. Tell me more about this king of coin reverse. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that wasn't able to put in effort. Eight of coin reverse and is wanting to put in effort now or is trying to change things around. There's the five of wands, the hostilities, drama, and ten of cups. There could be drama at home. Difficulties at home, difficulties with the family members, difficulties surrounding home life. Tell me more about this five of wands. And this is affecting your connection. Tell me about the five of wands reverse. Yeah, five of pentacles, eight of pentacle, uh, eight of cups, sorry, at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's someone that, you know, this isn't for them. They're not happy where they're at or they're stuck where they're at, meaning they don't want to really truly be there. And this Eight of Cups is making me think of the death card. So maybe something needs to end where they're at um, so that you can have a new beginning, a second chance. Tell me more about this other person. Tell me more about this other person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me more about this other person. Okay, we have the Three of Coin reverse. Tell me more about this other person that Cancer is, has, Knight of Swords, yeah. I feel like this person needs to just come forward and communicate, Knight of Swords. Maybe this is their goal. Um, I don't think this person is going to be able to commit to you because, wow, yeah, tower moment. And then there's justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So maybe a tower is necessary in order to bring back everything or bring uh, things back into balance, I guess I should say. I feel like the Knight of Swords and the tower, it's like a shocking message, a shocking truth, an unexpected truth. This, you weren't expecting to hear this from them you weren't expecting things to happen the way they do um this could be a shocking revelation i mean the knight of swords in the tower there's no other way to really um uh, address that or um interpret that tell me more about this person what do we need to know about this other person tiger Okay, so this is kind of like the Queen of Wands. Can I get one more for this other person? So I feel like this person is motivated. Yeah, they're motivated. I feel like um, the Lizard is kind of like the introvert of this deck. They kind of um, remind me of the Hermit a little bit because they kind of get away from all the noise. They're easily overwhelmed by too much going on. But they have almost like a sixth sense. They absorb too much of their surroundings. Very intuitive. So I feel like this person truly knows what they want. Intuitively, um, they are determined. But this tower, I mean, towers are uncomfortable. Okay, so we have pathway. Pathway and then courtship at the bottom of the deck. Courtship is kind of like an early romance, early connection. 
uh, the beginning of a connection. Pathway is a card about being on a journey, but still having a long way to go. So Cancer, unfortunately, I don't think that this is going to develop like right away. I don't think you're going to go from this message to straight up commitment. But I feel like this message is going to change a lot for this connection. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Tower. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Tower, please. Oh yeah, Ace of Swords. This is going to be a powerful conversation. Something, the truth, and nothing but the truth. Ah, hang on. Let me make sure these are back. What else do we need to know about this Knight of Swords and the Tower? What else do we need to know? The Hermit, yeah. Virgo energy. I feel like whatever they're telling you, they thought about it. They're probably coming in. Um, there's the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, exactly what I was picking up on. It's almost like their intuition is very strong. They could also be telling you something that they kept to themselves for a really long time, the Hermit and the High Priestess. Maybe they were very quiet about this. Maybe they weren't sure if they could be honest, if they could break the silence, but they are going to break the silence in a big way with the Tower. Um, okay, so let me clear up the board. I'm gonna, I am gonna. have time, so I'm going to set down um, the cards for where all of this is headed. I'm not going to clarify. I'm going to leave that for the extended, but at least you can get some insight into where this could be headed in the near future. Yeah, this tower is very, like, I'm going to leave it out, actually, because I'm going to clarify that in the extended. Um, I know it's the Ace of Swords that came out. Where did I put the Ace of Swords? So I'm going to just see if I can get some Oracle cards about it with the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. And um, we'll clarify that a little bit more in the extended and get some insight there. But let's see, where is all of this headed next? for cancer where is all of this headed next for cancer what does cancer need to know spirit about the future of this connection the near future of this connection where is all of this headed for cancer let's see Three of Wands reverse, nice. Death reverse. See, there's going to be um, possibly delays with this change or an ending, or it's slowly going to come together. Death, Scorpio energy, and the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, there's definitely going to be an expression of feelings, um, maybe an apology, um, and a very a sincere exchange or a sincere message from this person. Let me keep going. Page of Cups, Reverse, Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is also going to tell you like how difficult it's been for them. Yep, Eight of Coin, Reverse, Page of Cups, Reverse. That perhaps they haven't been able to do what they truly want to do. Maybe they've been prevented from reaching out. Maybe they've been in a situation where they tried and they tried and they tried to make it work, but they weren't able to make it work. Or perhaps they wanted to get to you eventually or get to you sooner. Um, but they kept hitting hurdles and obstacles, but they always were thinking about success. Six of wands. I feel like this person's probably going to tell you, give me a little bit more time to figure things out or, you know, here's why I can't just jump in to everything with you right now. Something like that. It's going to be a very honest conversation with the ace of swords. There's no BS here. They're cutting to the chase, clearing the air and being very almost like unemotional about what they're really telling you here so even though this is a sincere message and even a message that might turn emotional i think at the core it's going to be a very honest conversation but i feel like it's going to restore the balance somehow or start something new and we're going to see that in the extended when i clarify you know some of these energies what do we need to know exactly about where all of this is headed because there are some obstacles here um some delays and also frustration i'm picking up with the page of cups reverse and the three of wands reverse and the eight of coins reverse i'm picking up like someone's very frustrated that they're not able to get this done sooner or that they keep hitting like a wall and if they are in a third party that makes sense but 
I'm speaking to a Cancer who there will be a tower moment in this connection in terms of communication. If you don't hear from this person in a couple months at all, then this obviously isn't for you because I feel with the Knight of Swords and the tower, it's gonna be a quick tower in terms of communication. So I'm gonna take this to the extended now, Cancer. Feel free to join us there if you'd like. Completely optional reading, just bonus energies, um, bonus information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.